In this neutralization reaction, we have zinc hydroxide plus nitric acid. They combine to give us a salt, the zinc nitrate, plus water. So let's balance the equation, and we'll use a bit of a trick to help us along. This nitrate group, this NO3, that's a polyatomic ion that stays together. We have it here and then right here. So I'm just going to count it as one item, and that'll make the balancing a lot more manageable. So let's count the atoms up. We have one zinc. We have two times one, so two oxygens. And we're going to ignore this oxygen here because it's in our nitrate group. We have two times one. That gives us two hydrogens. Plus, we have the one hydrogen here. So we have three total hydrogens and the one nitrate. On the product side, we have one zinc. We have just the one oxygen, two hydrogens, and two times the one nitrate, so two nitrates. We'll leave the oxygens and hydrogens to last, so let's begin with the nitrate by putting a two in front of the nitric acid. So we have one nitrate times two. That'll give us two of those. Those are balanced. And then we need to update the hydrogens. So we have two times the one, that gives us two hydrogen atoms, plus one times the two. So now we have four. So we could fix our hydrogens. We have four here and two here by putting a coefficient of two in front of the H2O, and I think that'll fix the oxygens. Two times two, that gives us four hydrogens. Those are balanced. One times two for the oxygens, that gives us two. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So when we have something like a nitrate ion that stays together in the reaction, we have it here and here, it's really useful to consider it as one thing. It makes the balancing easier. We couldn't do that with the hydroxide ion because it was broken apart. We don't have a hydroxide on this side. That's it. That's the balanced equation for ZnOH2 plus HnO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.